So I've got these two amplifiers here and I'm gonna take both these amplifiers, I'm gonna zoom in close and I'm gonna show you what the bass boost looks like on these amplifiers. So here we have a Rockford Fosgate amplifier. It's a four channel amplifier. Now before you set the bass boost, you wanna make sure that you set the gains properly. We can see here a gain control for the front channels and a gain control for the rear channels of this four channel amplifier. Now because this is a four channel amplifier, the typical setup is to run the front channel on a pair of mids and highs and bridge the rear channel to run a subwoofer so there's going to be a bass boost on the rear channel. Now let's walk through the controls for the rear channel. Let me zoom you in real close so you can see a little bit better. We have the gain for the rear channel. Again, set the gain first before you do any of this. Then we've got the crossover controls here and here. This knob controls the frequency for the crossover. Now some amplifiers will have a variable frequency bass boost. This one does not. So if you see another frequency control next to your bass boost, that's what that is. Now Rockford Fosgate likes to call their bass boost the punch EQ. So here is the bass boost. It is a knob. Sometimes bass boost is a switch. So when you have a knob, you're going to take a screwdriver and you're going to take that bass boost and you're going to turn it all the way down. And now your bass boost is set properly. Next up, we have this Alpine amplifier. This is a mono subwoofer amplifier, and the bass boost is over on the side with the rest of the controls. Let me prop this thing up and zoom in tight so we can see these controls. And here are the controls on the side. We have the low pass filter. That is your crossover. Keep watching, and I will show you how to set a low pass filter properly. Over here is our gain. Once again, you want to set the gain before you do this. I have an easy way to set the gains. I'll show you that here in just a second. And finally, we have the bass boost. Alpine's calling their bass boost on this model amplifier a bass EQ. So just like before, we're gonna take our screwdriver, we're gonna stick it in this hole right here, find that slot, and we're gonna turn it all the way down. So when you have a knob, you wanna take that bass boost and set it all the way to zero. Now, if you've got a switch, some amplifiers will have a switch with 6 and 12 and 0 decibels of boost. You want to take that switch, set it all the way to 0. And that's how you set your bass boost. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that you want more bass. And if you turn the bass boost down, you're going to get less bass. Well, that's true. But the thing to remember is that when you turn the bass boost up, you're going to get distortion, you're going to get clipping, and you're going to damage your subwoofer. What you actually want to do is set up your gear properly. Set the gains correctly, set the crossovers correctly, and turn that bass boost off. If you want more bass, a better option will be to turn down your mids and highs. It's always better to cut instead of boost. Boosting should be a last resort. If you have the system set up properly and it's not enough bass, a better option will be to go out and actually get yourself more bass. If you'd like to learn how to set your gains and crossovers, check out these videos right here. And if you'll hit this subscribe button, I'll see you on the next adventure.